Okay, we're here with Sani Kampara of the Bosnian national team. A huge win for you guys over the defending champions, uh, France. Uh, what happened today? Uh, we just uh, came in the game giving all our best and uh, we talked uh, about France uh, before our game. Uh, we did everything our coaches uh, asked from us and uh, that's the reason we won the game uh, because uh, we respected them but uh, we didn't give them like you can go and beat us, uh, we will beat you back. So that's the most important thing. You guys are missing one of the most talented players of this generation in uh, Janan Musa. Uh, it looks like you had to step up today and really shoulder some of that offensive responsibility. You had 32 points. Uh, what, what was that like for you having to be the guy today? Uh, I think uh, that's my job now because uh, I played this uh, European Championships like four or five years. So, And a lot of these guys, they, it's their first time here. So uh, I think I need to step up and uh, I have that experience. So I think it's not a very tough job for me. Tell me a little bit about yourself, where are you from, when did you start playing basketball, that kind of thing. I started playing basketball when I was six uh, in Boston, Sarajevo, in a basketball club called Rin. Uh, first of all, I played football, but like a lot of basketball players, uh, and uh, uh, I started playing basketball because all, all my parents, uh, my grandma and my uncle played basketball, but not a high level, so I just liked it. I went on a practice and uh, I just uh, started liking it, and uh, I couldn't go a day without a practice, so that's my story. That's where it all began. What kind of basketball player are you? I. I I like to call myself like a shooting guard stuck in a body a lot point guard, but uh, uh, I think I'm a great shooter so, uh, and I can make a lot of uh, advantages in the paint while playing pick and roll. I can make other players better because uh, defense focusing on me and uh, I think uh, I'm, a, I'm a humble and that's my best, uh, best uh, how you know. What's it like playing for Real Madrid, one of the most recognizable names in, in all of sports, not just for basketball? It's a big thing for me, of course, because every every player wants to play in NBA, and uh, if not in the NBA, in Europe, they want to play in uh, Real Madrid. Uh, it's a great team. I learned a lot. I worked on my body. That's the most important thing for me. And uh, I can see now how much did I uh, uh, grow like a player, so I'm really, I'm really honored to play for Madrid. How, how hard will it be to make that jump from the junior level to the senior level, um, you know, especially for a EuroLeague team, or are you going to have to have some transition in between? What is that like going to be like for you the next year or two? I know it's going to be tough for me because I'm a point guard and for the point guards it's a, lot, it's a bit uh, tougher. So I'm just, I just have to be patient, work on myself, and I'm sure the result uh, will come. Great stuff. Thanks so much. Thank you.